In this video, we will see how to combine multiple pieces of data across sheets into one block of data. In this sheet, I have one piece of data. It is a table. I have given it a name South. Similarly, I have another table called North. And in the third sheet, I have two tables, East and West. Ideally, the columns should match. The order of columns is not important, but the spellings and data type should match. When I combine the data and import it, I want it to be in another file. If I try to combine it in the same file, the data is going to occupy double the amount of space. So I close this file, create a blank new file, go to data, get data from file, Excel and choose the file. Now the Power Query Navigator dialog will appear. It will show me sheets as well as tables. As you already know, we never import sheets because unwanted data interferes. But in this case, I don't really want to import individual tables. I want to look at the overall structure first, which is shown in the first entry, which has a folder icon. That's the Excel file itself. And I don't want to load it at all. So click on this drop down, load to, and choose only create connection. Click OK. Now a separate pane opens and shows me that yes, connection is created. We have to do many more things later. Now double click on this to open Power Query. This is showing me the structure of the Excel file. It is showing me that there are multiple items. This one is a sheet, 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 and there are four tables. So there is a column called kind. I am only interested in tables, so I am going to filter out sheets. Now this is the name of the table, and this is the actual data in the table. Let me show you. When I click on the table, it adds one more step and actually shows me the table. But we don't want one table. So I'm going to undo these two steps. In case of Power Query, undo means go to the applied steps and click on the cross. We want the name column and we want the data column. Other columns are not required for us. So right click, remove other columns. I want to retain the name. The column is called name, but in our context, it is region. So just rename it. And here, I want the data to be expanded. So if table for South has five rows, should have five rows expanded and each should have the name South. So click on this expand button. Yes, we want to expand and we don't want data.customer, data.country. So don't want prefix. Click OK. And there you have it. Data is expanded. Couple of more steps to be done. The next thing to do is look at the data type. This is the name. This is the data type. It's correct. ABC means text. But in other cases, you will notice it's ABC123. That means it has not detected data type. This data type is shown as any. And you should never import anything with any data type. You have to freeze the data type. To do that, press Ctrl A, which basically selects all columns. Now go to the Transform tab and then choose Detect Data Type. Now it has correctly determined all the data types. It's a good idea to cross check. If there is a mistake, you can always override it. And now we are done. So close and load. Load 2 is disabled or inactive because we have already decided to create only a connection. No problem. Close and load. It is still a connection, but now the data is ready. So I can say right click load 2. And now I don't want a connection. I actually want the data in table. Now, mind you, this is small data. So importing it in an Excel sheet table is okay. If you know that this data is going to be very large, do not import it in table. Keep it as only create connection, add to data model. As you know, data model has no capacity limit. Millions of rows can be managed. It's very fast and it compresses. So file size is also small. But right now, let's import it in a table. And there you have it. We got data combined from multiple sheets into one sheet. To complete the scenario, I'm going to open the original file and add one more table. We'll call this table new. Save the file, close the file, come back to our output, right click and refresh. And there you have it. One time effort and next time onwards, just refresh. Now let's look at another scenario. I still have multiple pieces of data, but each piece of data is not consistent. To illustrate that, I've just changed a column name, but it could be data type, empty rows, duplicate items, and so on. Because the data is not consistent across 
all the pieces, I cannot use the method we have used earlier. So let's see how to handle this situation. I'm going to first step is to go to data, get data, open the file in Power Query. In this case, because I need to handle each table separately, I'm going to say select multiple items and choose the four tables. Of course, we are not going to load them. Load to connection only, but don't add to data model, just connection. Now four connections got created. Double click on any one of them. It will still open the same Power Query. On the left side, you will see four queries. Make sure the names are correct because you're going to use the names when we combine the data. Go to each table and do whatever is required to clean up and make that data consistent. So in this case, the only thing I need to do is consistent name for amount column. Now, once the data across four tables is matching and is consistent, I can append them. Currently, let's say I have selected East and I can say append North, South, West to it. Or a better way is append into a new query. And that's better because it doesn't disturb any existing queries. We have more than two tables, so choose this. East is already selected. Shift and click, all of them will get selected. Add, if required, you can reorder them. Click OK. And that's how we got the data combined. But there is a problem. Data is combined, but we don't have that column called name or region. So I don't know which row belongs to which region, and that's important for me. So this method, although it's very simple, is not going to work for us. So I'm going to delete this new table which we just created. Now I could have gone to add column, added a custom column and hard coded a name, but I would have to do that four times. Instead, there is a much better, smarter way. So come to the home tab, go to new source, other source, blank query. Power query is really powerful and inside it, there's a special area called sections. Equal to is for the formula and hash sections or lowercase. When you press enter, you will see section one record. And in that record, you actually have east, north, south, west and query one listed. And some of them are table, some of them are record. When I click on it, it does have the data. So this is what I want. So I want the record itself. And the record is represented by this name section one. So square bracket very carefully. And now I got this. This I want to convert into a table. And because it's a table now, I want to get rid of this query one. This is the query we are writing right now. So we don't want that. Open the drop down, get rid of query one. Now we have names. Rename them as region. And now you know what to do. Expand it. No prefix. OK. And that's how we get all the data together. Close and load. This is a new query. So we'll have to specify what to do with this query. So close and load. Of course, we want this data either in table or data model. And there you have it. To complete the scenario, let's say I got another piece of data, maybe in the same file, another file doesn't really matter. And I want to incorporate that as well. So close the file, go to the file where we have just consolidated. We'll have to go to Power Query and import that data. So double click Power Query. This is a new source. So go to file, choose the file. Whether it is same or different file doesn't matter. Process is same. There is only one table here. Click OK. Now notice this NW is a query by itself. Just make sure this table has consistent data. Clean up as necessary. Now the table is ready. All the tables. But we have not refreshed this query. So all that you have to do is go to this query. Be on the last step. And then say refresh. And that NW is incorporated. But wait. Before you close and load, close and load to is important because in this session, we imported the NW only. So close and load to, we don't want to import this table separately. It's already a part of query one. So only create connection, done. Query one already knows what to do. So now refresh and that's how you combine multiple pieces of data, even if the format is inconsistent. Why are we taking all this trouble of combining data into one piece? Because these pieces of data are related to the same region, product, entity, whatever. So sooner or later, you're going to require a consolidated report or filter on any region and create a regional report. Best of both worlds. And because data model is there, you no longer have to worry about large file sizes, slow pivot tables. 
Now, there is another scenario of multiple CSV files and multiple Excel files with data. I have another video for it. Have a look at it. That's it for now. See you soon. Bye bye.